Hello, so you want to learn how to code um, in Java, then this is the right video for you. Um, so first things first, we want to get an IDE. So an IDE is like Notepad or Word for writing uh, text files, except you use it for writing programs. Um, IntelliJ is the best Java IDE I've came across. I've used both Eclipse and IntelliJ, but I find Eclipse to feel quite old and not great, whereas IntelliJ feels like it's made for 2021. It's just really nicely designed IDE. So come to this URL, and this will be in the description, and then you want to hit download. Okay, so this is going to bring up two options. You've got Ultimate, which is that paid version, and you have Community, which is what I recommend and what I use myself. Uh, if, if you scroll down, there's not that much on Ultimate that's actually useful. Uh, profiling tools is probably about the only thing I'd actually use. Maybe the JavaScript stuff could be useful for you. Um, oh, and database is quite useful, but I, I, it doesn't actually affect me much in my day-to-day -day programming. So just grab the Community Edition and hit Save File. And I'll skip to when that's downloaded. Okay, so now it's downloaded, we're just going to go open this file. Um, if Google Chrome or whatever web browser you're using warns that it could be a virus, don't worry, this is safe. You can continue. Right, so when you get to this screen, um, the only thing that really matters, you want .java associations. The rest of this really isn't that important, and it's completely personal preference. If you understand what this stuff means, <clears throat> and you want something on, you can tick it. But otherwise, you can just carry on and just do what I've done. And then you can click install here. And then this will install it. So click that. But I'm not going to do that as I've already got IntelliJ installed. So I'm just going to cancel. Okay, so now you will once you once that's installed, you want to go in and open up IntelliJ. Um I use Rocket Doc, so I could just come up here and open it. But um, otherwise you can just go into Windows and such it. Um, this will bring up a screen that looks like this, except you won't see all of these projects. You just want to hit, um, you just want to hit new projects, basically. Okay. And then we're going to create a simple Java Hello World application. So just make sure Java selected. Don't click any of these. Um, and click next. Create project from template command line app. If on the previous screen it you didn't have an SDK here, just hit download JDK. IntelliJ is awesome and they will handle all of this for you. Literally select to Java 16, whatever vendor you like, but ideally Oracle or an or not adopt open JDK hotspot. Those are the ones I'd recommend. And then hit download. That's if you don't have an SDK. But if it's the auto detected one, just roll with that. Next, command line app, next. We'll call this Hello World, and uh, we'll do base package. Um, in, in Java, it's convention to do a domain you own um, in reverse. But I don't own a domain, and I doubt you do. So you can just do me dot whatever name you like to go by, and then the name of the project. And finish. Okay, and this might be quite overwhelming for you at the beginning. Um, all, all applications that are kind of professional always are when you're getting started. Um, so I give you a quick tour. So this is kind of like, this is like your file explorer. So here are all your folders and files. Up here we've got uh, how we can run it. Um, if you ever like need help from someone, there's this great code with me feature. So you can like send them a link and then they can like enter your ID and help sort stuff out for you which is a great feature of IntelliJ. Um, and here you can see the actual code, which is what we're going to focus on right now. So in Java, doing a Hello World application is actually fairly um, fairly more complex than other languages. Um, to do it, you just want, you want to type system.out.printline and then, then quotes to indicate a string. And then we can just type Hello World with a lovely exclamation mark at the end as per convention. And then if we run this by clicking either the play button or the debug button, 
then it should open up in console once it's finished building. And ta -da, we can see that we have written our first Hello World application. If you liked this video, then I plan on creating a full series out of this. So feel free to subscribe, uh, drop any suggestions in the comments for what you want to see. Um, next video, I'm probably going to be talking about variables. Now we've got our project set up. And bye!